been a while since I talked in one of these videos. I know you all miss the sound of my voice. So, in case you forgot, these videos now contain talking because I finally found my 24th diamond and I now have enough to craft that full set of diamond armor. Um, hang on. Still have to make sure no monsters spawn here. Update 1.13 got released. They changed a bunch of stuff, I'm still trying to get used to it.
when I I should so when I go through this portal I will enter a dimension called the nether I should probably have my sword ready so there's lots of lava and fire and cliffs in the nether and the the monsters here are stronger ugh it's lagging a lot of the monsters here are stronger than the ones in the overworld doing now is I'm trying to I'm trying to seal off this portal so that like I don't I never get attacked by monsters the moment I walk in here So yeah, there's lots of fire, there's lots of lava and cliffs, you have to watch out when you like go places and dig around and stuff. And also water, like when you try to place water in the nether it sort of just disappears, unfortunately. So like... When you're in the nether, you have to rely on... You, the next most reliable thing is cobblestone. So like, even though the a lot of the monsters that naturally spawn in the nether are stronger than the ones in the overworld, there are none of them that can touch cobblestone. So... Using cobblestone to build stuff here is generally a good idea. Um, so right now... Oh yeah, and you should... Okay, so... Let's... So the two most common monsters in the nether are zombie pigmen and ghasts. Um, Zombie pigmen won't attack you. Wait. Yeah, that sound right there, that was a ghast. So, there it is again. Um, hang on. Negative X. So, zombie pigmen won't attack you unless you hit them first. But when you do hit them, the zombie pigmen, that zombie pigmen and all of the ones nearby will get mad at whatever hit them. So like, basically just try not to hit them. Um, ghasts are flying monsters. Let's see. Nope, nothing too dangerous here. Ghasts are flying monsters. They shoot explosive fireballs. They will... G 
cast fireballs will make things catch fire. But luckily they can't explode cobblestone. So if I just encase everything in cobblestone, I should be safe. And also these mobs will spawn no matter what the light level is. So lighting up these tunnels, like I mean, the light level here is zero, but I can still see perfectly. So there's not much of a point in lighting up these tunnels. And also the block you see everywhere is called netherrack. If somebody lights a fire on netherrack, the fire will never go out. It can get annoying sometimes, but sometimes this makes netherrack useful. Right now I am aiming for some very specific coordinates. If I keep going in this direction, I should eventually arrive at a structure called a nether fortress. And in the nether fortress they have special mob spawns. Wait, hang on. Oops, I've been digging in the wrong direction. this way. So in the nether fortresses, they can- nether fortresses spawn these mobs called blazes, and they- and I need to kill a few of them in order to beat the game. Getting lost in the nether is easy if you're just randomly exploring places, so I guess it's not much of a concern for me when I'm restraining myself to a tunnel. So like, you should always make sure you have some way of finding another portal, or finding your nether portal in case you get lost. And also, um, you should keep a flint and steel with you, just in case. Your portal, like, just in case your portal deactivates for whatever reason. There are several things that can do this. The don't dig straight down, like, because there are so many lavas and cliffs, the don't dig straight down rule is especially important. And also, you should not stand too close to a block when you break it, and like, never hold down W, or whatever you set your forward key to while you're breaking a rock, or while you're breaking a block. Um, oh hey, it's nether quartz. It's usually a good idea to keep cobblestone in your left hand when you're in the nether, because like, sometimes you might find random lava blocks. Like, sometimes you might get surprised by random lava blocks. And... If you have cobblestone in your left hand, then you can just place it down to block, or, like, displace the lava or whatever, and then you'll be safe. But if you can't do it fast enough, then the lava might kill you. So... 
yeah, I guess that's 15 minutes. Um, I haven't gotten to the Nether Fortress yet, as you can probably tell. So, see you guys next month.